traditional customer base for colleges and universities is getting smaller. There are just fewer babies being born and fewer students graduating from high school. In Vermont, there are roughly 20% fewer seniors in high school this year than there were 10 years ago. And that trend is pretty much the same in all of northern New England and many rural parts of the country. The only place in the country where 18, 22 year olds are growing is the Southwest and the South. To the extent that they're coming to the Northeast for school, they're going to elite institutions. One of the trends that I think people are seeing is that 18, 22 year olds are far more interested in being in cities. When you think about where colleges are in the United States, and particularly in New England, it is really the result of essentially a 19th century education model. If you were going to start a college today, would you necessarily put it in Middlebury, Vermont? I would say the most dangerous place for an institution to be in higher ed is to be small, rural, liberal arts, and not elite. I think those are the places that are going to see more of the impact first, but everybody's going to feel it. Without a clear and cogent strategy for how you navigate this level of disruptive change, I think you're going to see more, more change over the next couple of years. Having a niche in this marketplace is really important. Doing something unique to you that is not geographic dependent is one of the strategies for long-term survival.